what I'm gonna do for y'all show you what I bought from the grocery store for the 11th thousandth time since we've been on shelter in place let's do it I'm so ready to make over my diet we're gonna try some plant-based eating for a week at least I am so we got a whole bunch of staples to get going but hubby did pick it up maybe this is a mother's day thing let's hope so and they got my infamous plantain chips let's continue to shop as i go the wrong way i don't know about to be paying attention these times i'm running honey i'm running i'm running into things <laughs> hi scorpion he got on his shopping uniform everybody this is i was talking about plant-based eating here all the meat we gonna buy all the meat that we could buy Time to load it all up. So my hauls sometimes don't look like a real haul for a mom who has three children. They talking about a meat shortage, that there's a hiccup in the food chain. Thank you, hashtag Miss Rona. So we got some thick cut bacon. We got the shredded cheese that we need for cooking this week. A couple containers of butter. I got some shredded Parmesan. And I got a couple things of blue cheese, dark chocolate and almond and cashews, kind of a trail mix. This stuff slaps, it's so good. Tomato sauces and paste and crushed tomatoes for obviously spaghetti. Bagels, these are the cinnamon raisin. Also got the blueberry variety. I got some white bread, white bread there, two loaves of wheat and the oatmeal cranberry cookies. That's always my husband's request from Aldi. Non-fat Greek yogurt, plain. I use that a lot in a lot of recipes, smoothies, and it's a great substitute for sour cream when you're trying to eat a little healthier. I got my cranberry cashew gluten-free honey granola. Once again, it's the best. Simply nature, it's organic, it's the bomb. This is my sugar craving that I can feel a little, just a little less guilty or about. It's only five ingredients in there. I highly recommend this if you shop at Aldi. And the Clubhouse crackers, got those. Oh, here's where I kind of threw all the proteins that I got from Cermak Fresh Market. My attempt is to again, fill up my deep, deep freezer with meat items. If just in case there is a food stoppage, we are gonna be all right. So this came from Aldi. I need another bag of rice. You always gotta have rice in the house for a staple. Philly cheesesteak sandwich recipe very soon for the Instant Pot. So I got three of these. These pork maple breakfast sausage patties came from Aldi. My family absolutely loves these. You see my air fryer right there? Really quickly for a nice, fast breakfast option. So again, Cermak is my go-to for all my meats, needs, and protein. So we got the leg and thigh quarters. Two packs of those. We got a nice big old bag of raw shrimp. Two family pack sizes of the chicken legs. These are versatile. We can always do a lot of stuff with that. The ground beef came from Aldi, that little roll back there. My husband and I are celebrating our wedding anniversary soon. I think he's gonna cook something special. He got us some ribeyes. Okay. Butcher apparently didn't quite seal this as tight as he could. We got these fresh out of the, the fish market part. Anyway, look at those. Those are giant like prawns almost. And then y'all like that catfish video we did last time for our Sunday vlog. So I think we've just been in a cooking fish mood around here. So that's what we got there. I got some turkey wings. I'm gonna bake these or either Instant Pot them and season them real nice. So hopefully they turn out well. Thermac also has a small little vegan section. So I'm trying to do some vegan butter and things of that nature. The cooking oil came from Aldi. Two gallons of milk, Aldi. We got fresh broccoli. Are these scallions? They're not leeks. Are they leeks? Maybe they're leeks. Husband picked these up. And we got a bag of sweet potatoes. A couple of pizzas. Again, these are Aldi. And I got from Cermak these various curries because I'm very much into making 
like coconut curry dishes. This brand was 99 cents. This one was the normal price of like 179. One says unsweetened on the front. The other one I can't tell because of the language, but I usually love this brand. So I got it and then we have this. It's just trying something new. And if I don't like it, I have my old faithful to fall back on. I got some plantain chips. This one has garlic. This one is the one with chili, lemon. And here's the one I ate in the car on the way back from the store. <laughs> These came from Aldi, they're delicious. Let's see what else we got over here. The peanut sauce, Thai peanut sauce. Love that kind of flavor. I got the jar of curry as well because I wanted to compare it to how the canned curry tastes. And then some parsley and steak seasoning. Those are my Aldi staples. Shout out to me trying to be more experimental. I saw a recipe on this vegan channel that I follow where they claim that they can make the jackfruit taste like an old pot roast. Mm-hmm. I'm doubtful. But we're going to try it just to see. The Gardenera pepper as well as jalapeno slices, Aldi ranch dressing. We got some celery and sour cream and we got some whipped cream cheese as well. So these are the Italian style breadcrumbs from Aldi. Got the animal crackers there. We got the savor it vegetable, roasted vegetable crackers. The Aldi's store brand version of their Frosted Flakes. They have a nice new family size, so we needed that. We got the big old box of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which is also family sized. And a couple of things of the Little Debbie Oatmeal Cream Pies. Limit two was on these 12 pack of ramen noodles, because otherwise I was gonna go ham and get like five of them. Because you know you can never go wrong the kids love these we're in the middle of a pandemic folks might need some old dry noodles to save their life we got some heavy duty foil the sandwich bags again these are aldi we got a box of tea bags because we're about to start back making fresh tea in the house the panko breadcrumbs came from cermak fresh market i got a whole spaghetti squash over here remember i told you i was gonna make a spaghetti squash casserole can't wait to share that recipe with y'all we got some organic these are these gala apples. I think they're gala. The bell peppers from Aldi. The oranges came from Cermak Market. We're trying to eat a lot more healthier in here. So anybody do get sick, we got our immune system boosted up. I got some big old bag of like russet potatoes. I think hubby picked these up. So I think he planned on making the potatoes with the steak and all the fixings. Got a whole pineapple and oh wait shout out to the mini avocados from aldi hey now my first time getting those from there got a bag of onion uh are these nectarines <laughs> or peaches i don't know what i did we didn't bought these came from sir mac these came from all dizzle and i don't know if y'all follow that lady tabitha brown on social media she's a vegan cook chef or com comedian and actress she talked about her vegan bacon and so that's why I bought these whole bag of carrots because you're supposed to make it in your air fryer using liquid smoke now that's gonna be a whole experiment
Um, um, uh, um, perfectly good waste of liquid smoke and, and ingredients. This shit look like them fucking aliens off of Men in Black. Just look like it's throwing up gang signs. Hmm. It's crunchy and sweet. There's no bacon to this. Couple zucchinis. And I got a little eggplant. Something phallic is happening on this side of the counter. Um, <laughs> two dozen of eggs. That's another Aldi purchase, as was the French rolls. I mentioned that we're going to be having uh, Philly cheesesteaks. So we need that. Got some romaine lettuce, the mushrooms, a little teeny cabbage. Look how cute this is. It's so cute. Black seedless grapes, strawberries, a couple things, a slice fresh watermelon organic apple juice yes baby gets in my belly organic apple juice J apple juice did i really say that apple juice tart cherry juice i've been chronicling trying to watch my blood pressure heard that this is a really good thing to use to help combat it so we will see how that goes we got some fresh basil because you know i love my basil husband picked up the rosemary to go with those steaks all these mimosas are the official jam i highly recommend this it's so so good it gets you drunk <laughs> it's still it's only like two glasses worth in here moms pick this up for you treat yourself for mother's day make yourself a little mother have your kids make you a mother's day brunch and tell them to buy you this to go with it and then i got another tart cherry juice and we got some pop to go with dinner tonight we don't often buy pop but when we do we got to get the fruit pops crushed pineapple is the bomb is that everything? That's everything. I bought a case of Gatorade. I don't know where it is. It might still be in the car. Guess what I didn't get? You guessed it if you said the TP. I bought TP before the world crashed, like a month ahead from Sam's Club. And that's how long it lasted. So I'm mad. I'm literally on one roll of toilet paper and that's in one of the bathrooms. The other one don't even have toilet paper. That's today's grocery haul. We're trying to be a little bit more healthier. Let me know how your shopping is going in the age of the Rona. How many more trips are you making on average? Are you buying more healthy food, more snack food, more junk food? Just trying to survive food. Let me know. And I'll see y'all on the next video.